Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of New Horizons. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick to apologize about something. The audio in this video is um a little bit crunchy. By that I mean it's uh, clipping a whole lot. I do apologize. Essentially because we're having to stay at home, me and my friends have been playing D&D online, and me and Ryder have to use the same microphone, which is my microphone, so I have to turn the volume on it up so that it picks us both up and uh, I forgot to turn it back down, so I'm gonna try to fix it in editing, but the audio is a little bit loud, but you know, it just fits the uh, angry vibes that I have for this terrible event. I'm so sorry, but back to the video. Today is the day, the last day of the egg nightmare that we have been living in. It is bunny day, the day that I am recording this. It'll probably be a day or two before it actually goes up. I'm sure even if you haven't been playing New Horizons, you've seen how bad the eggs have been. Everyone all over the internet has uh, been a little bit skeptical of this event. I'm hoping I'm not doing this too late. It is currently 4.30 p.m., but I do wanna go over some things real quick before we get to the recap. I said in the last episode I wanted to live stream, like, terraforming and decorating our town. I tried to set it up and I don't know what it was. I was trying to do private streams just to make sure it was working right. And it just, my streaming software just wouldn't go through to YouTube. I don't know why I've streamed before. So I think I need to mess around with that a little bit more before we have streams on this channel. So I do apologize. I did get just a little bit carried away and may have pathed my whole town. There are still some things I'd like to do though, so hopefully we'll be getting into some more terraforming in today's episode. In between recordings, I had invited Rosie one more time, and if it's the same as with Hamlet, today she should be moving in. Well, she should be moving in after we talk to her today. And I want you guys to be able to see what that looks like, so we will be doing that today. I've been holding off on that. And of course we will be getting into whatever it is that Zipper wants us to do now. I have no clue. I also completely missed the tourney yesterday. I apologize. By the time I was able to record, it was already 5.30 and it ended at 6. I know I could time travel, but honestly, I don't like messing with that very much. But there'll be other tourneys. But yeah, I don't think the recap is going to be very important today because I pretty much have to show you what all I've done to Evergloam. It's a lot. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Oh my god. Hamlet's an egg. No, come back. Come out from behind that tree. He's probably ashamed. Don't blame him. Come on, Hamlet. Look at him. <gasps> That's astounding. Oh my god. The only good thing about this event. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't do the tourney anyways because I didn't really prepare for it and so I didn't have any fish bait and I heard people were just catching eggs and it was horrible. <laughs> so I, I feel like I dodged a bullet with that one. We'll try it again in the summer. Hello there everyone. Right now in Evergloam it's 4.34 p.m. on Sunday, April 12th, 2020. I hope you're excited because today is Bunny Day. The plaza is all a bustle with activity. Perhaps we have a special visitor? Hint, hint. <sighs> I'm scared. I hate Zipper. <laughs> Either way, I'm sure there's a lot of fun in store for us today. So stop by the plaza if you have a chance. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. So cute. I love her little bells. Just the little jingle. So cute. I'd hate to have to listen to that all the time, but you do you, Isabel. Oh, I'm actually, uh, I got a Hamlet shirt. It's not called that. Uh, it's just the shirt Hamlet tends to wear a lot, so. Decided to twin with him. Since it is egg day, we will humor Zipper and we'll wear some of the egg stuff. I don't know what, cause it all is not my taste, but we'll sort something out. Cause like, hold on, I gotta show you how bad this all looks together. Like, I think it's mostly the shoes. Like, I just, I just hate it a whole lot. We'll wear our crown. That's like pastel and cute. Like that could work. Like, that's fine. And where's my backpack? There. I feel like that works. That's adorable. I am, of course, going to be checking the stores, so maybe we'll find something else, but I feel like that's a good bunny day outfit. It's got the pastels, you know? It's just not going overboard with the egg. We do, of course, have some mail as well. Ah, I bought some stuff, right. And it looks like our rating went up. Yep. Oh, wait, there's new music. I gotta turn this up. Okay, the music is nice. I like it so far a whole lot. Actually, it is just a remix of the New Leaf one. Well, it's probably been around longer than New Leaf, honestly. I just know in particular because I looked up the New Leaf song for the intro for the first Bunny Day video, but... Oh god, okay, yeah, I was working on my town. I got too many flowers in my inventory. Give me a second. This is not permanent. It's just what we're doing for now. Ah, uh, we just got a silver plaque from the HHA. That's boring. 
But okay, I guess I should go ahead and show you guys what all I've done to the town. Of course, you can see these little stepping stones here. I did make this pond and river a little bit smaller just so I could have more room to decorate up here. I kind of want to scoot my house forward one block and I'm a little bit mad about it. <laughs> I may end up doing that, I'm not sure. I'd kind of like for the fence to go behind it, but maybe once it's expanded, it won't be so noticeable anyway. I started putting down some of these little sparkles. I'm probably gonna put more of those down later, but I kind of wanted to go get the um, custom path terrain editor rather than setting it down this way, which is what I was doing with these. I also got into know online so we can get some QR codes and whatnot and then look up people's creator IDs, all of that good stuff. I also made a town flag and I was gonna look up a town tune too. Oh no. <laughs> we have so much to do today, guys. It's gonna be a long episode, but that's okay. I was doing a little bit of work around here. There's Hamlet. Oh my God, he's watering flowers again. A man of my heart. <laughs> we know Hamlet. We've been dealing with this for 12 days. Believe me, we know. Honestly, we might need some more eggs because I think he uh, gives us some extra stuff that we need to craft today. So I guess I will go ahead and get that. What's the last day of that? It's fine, it's fine. In the last episode, I did round this out whenever I put this incline in, but I actually flattened it back out so we could put a fence down. I got all of the cherry blossom recipes and I'm really excited about that. This was the main one I was wanting. It was the last one I got. It was dreadful, but now I actually have an extra. So if you want to call dibs on that, and if you're in my discord, like that's probably the best place to call dibs on it. No one has yet. So look at his legs. Oh my God. Then this area, like I said, I was wanting to keep pretty natural. So I just did like little stepping stones through it. I don't know if this is going to be permanent. I don't know. Still trying to figure everything out. We're just going to take it one step at a time. I'm putting a more natural looking incline here. No one's in the camp today, which is good because we need to invite Rosie later. Then I've been seeing this a lot on Twitter of a bunch of people making either heart or moon lakes or ponds, I guess. So I tried my hand at making a little moon pond and I think it's so cute. I retweeted the original one that I saw of this. So definitely not my own idea and design. And I don't want to take that credit, but there is that. Our money trees are all green again. No more cherry blossoms. I started on our marketplace idea. I got the little fortune cookie seller over there as well and also put these banners down. Obviously not done yet, but I've started. I'm gonna check the shops real quick. We'll probably only say anything if I find something cool because we have so much to do today. We don't, we don't need to know about all this. We've seen it before. Oh, that's disturbing. <laughs> Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I bought a couple of small things from Able Sisters. Um, I'm immediately getting this, okay? I know it's like not like, you know, fantasy magic, but this still counts. And I have that stall outside that has the crystal ball and whatnot. I'm putting this straight on that. Oh, that's beautiful. I also got these maid robes out of a balloon right here, but they, it, it looks like a nightgown to me. Like, mm, I think it's the bow. Like it's cute, but I like my robe of stars better. So we're not wearing that one. Just have it by the mage display. All right, back to the tiny little town tour. Through here, it's once again a little bit more natural. I don't know if I like how like checkerboarded these are. I might split some of them up, but I have a few of these little stones leading to both of the squirrels' houses. Gave Filbert a little bit of a fence, and once again, there we'll have that natural incline. Then over here, I actually found the perfect rare flower island because I love pansies a lot. My mom always grew them like on her front porch and everything. So they're kind of like a sentimental thing to me anyways, but look at these colors. Like it's beautiful. I love it. Then up here we have the entrance. It has of course changed a little bit. I love this view right here. I moved our little Stonehenge thing, <laughs> standing stone archway, whatever. It's not actually Stonehenge. That's just what it reminds me of over here, as well as our fountain. I'll be making more to go back over there, but I really wanted to get the entrance going. This is another little design that I saw and retweeted on Twitter. Look at Filbert. Oh my God. Cause I was trying to figure out what to do in this area right here. I kind of wanted something grand for the entrance. So that's what we have. I'm still working on planting all of the flowers. <sighs> Oh God, there he is. I started putting a fence around here as well. I think I like that rather than the flowers. I feel like the flowers made it look a little cluttered. And of course, I don't think a whole lot has changed over here and through here is just the stepping stones again. 
probably gonna be doing a little bit more work, look at her, over here, but this is just what we have for now. I really think it's coming along, I'm really happy with it so far. Obviously not perfect yet, I haven't even shown you guys what the area around the museum looks like. Oh, these freaking balloons, man. I, I guess, I will humor the murder rabbit. There. Oh god, claws, no, why? Oh. But yeah, I'm gonna put a fountain back down here and probably some benches along the sides, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and I took down a lot of the bunny day decorations because I just could not handle it anymore. Like the balloons are still around, but that's it. And they're going today. Might put another stone archway right here. I don't know, but let's just go ahead. I don't like the music either. Mm. Go ahead and talk to him. Let's end this. Boingity boing! Hey there, Skipper! It's me, Zipper! I'm the lucky yellow bunny, and I'm here to say- Also, I'm, I'm gonna play this real quick just so you can hear how dead his voice sounds. It, it just like goes so low, it's just like unnerving. <laughs> There's something super special hippity happening today. Yay! Let's all clap, anytime now. Do I remember you? Well, of course I do. I never forget a friendly face, especially one I meet in a new place. Looks like you kept my visit a secret. I'm surprised you actually listened. Anyway, my favorite day is finally here. Time to fill this island with lots of bunny cheer. Please stop talking. Hip hop hooray! Are you ready to celebrate bunny day? Great, say it with me now. The time has come. Let's look for eggs. That's my bunny plan. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Find them if you can. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You can still hunt for eggs on this special day. I know, I've been known. I had to walk all the way here, I saw. It's hard to miss, they're everywhere. <laughs> we know. Oh, oh, does he want, I think he wants us to bring one of each egg type to him. I have some in the storage at home. I'll go get them. You know what? I also have a surprise for some bunny, very special. Great, thanks. And that some bunny is you. Here's a bunny day art recipe to say thanks for all you do. Well then, you better hop to it if you're gonna find each and every bunny day DIY recipe I've hidden. I'm pretty sure I did beyond the archway. Have a super extra special reward for anyone who crafts all my bunny day recipes. Now, no time to waste, make haste. Right. I do know there's also, this might be the reward he gives you. There's like a little egg shaped thing of himself. I'm not sure if he's just wanting me to build the arch or what, or if I just need to bring him each type of egg. I'm gonna be honest, I was skipping past that quite a bit. <laughs> At least the part he was talking about finding each type of the eggs. I think he's wanting me to bring him one of each. I could be wrong. I don't know if I have one of each type of egg. Yeah, I actually do. Okay, well, isn't that wonderful for us? Let's go talk to him again, I guess? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something kind of important earlier. Here's the deal. If you're ever short by one egg of a certain type, I can help you out. I'll give you one egg of your choice and all you have to do is give me three of a different type of egg. Bibbidi bop, not a bad deal, huh? Okay, well, that's great. Uh, I have eggs. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderfully wonderful. You have all six types of eggs. Yippity skippity yay. Okay, at least I was right. <laughs> I did read that right. All right, I'm gonna take one of each egg type. Is that okay? Go for it. I do not care. Just get out of my town. All right, here you are. What is it? It's a bunny day basket. It's time to celebrate. Here we go. Boingy yay, hip hop hooray. Wonderful, what a wonderful, wonderful egg filled day. All right, kid, enjoy the rest of your bunny day. Okay. That, that one's cute. I like that one. That one's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I hear another freaking balloon. It's just an egg one. I don't even think I need it. Real quick, we're gonna go in the town hall. I'm going to craft that arch because I feel like it's the only other thing we need to do. I do need to learn it real quick, but I also want to set the town flag. Now I'm still trying to figure out what I want the town theme to be. I'm either gonna go with like the Skyrim theme. I might do a Luigi's Mansion thing because the town flag that I actually designed has a boo on it. I will show it to you. Let's change the island flag. You want to change the flag in front of resident services and the one at the airport too? Fantastic. Our flag is the physical embodiment of everything Everglow represents to folks on the island. It's proudly displayed in front of, we know you just said that too. <laughs> now, I was just kind of doodling one night. I think it was literally right after I recorded the last episode. I was trying to think of something and like, I've said it before how much I love Boo and that's just kind of, kind of what came to mind. It still has like the soul gems in the back. So it's still like kind of Elder Scrollsy. It's got the wizard theme because I gave him a little wizard hat and it's a Boo. It's cute, it's spooky. Not that our town's 
super spooky. It's not really, I don't know. It's, I want it to be mildly spooky, but yeah, that is what we are going with. It's perfect in every way. It truly captures the essence of Everglow. From this point forward, your design will be our new flag. Thank you for your submission. Gonna help you, uh, we'll mess with the town tune later. I do want to do that on camera. If you have any other ideas for town tunes, let me know. That's just kind of what I have in mind for now. I'm just, I'm not really sure what I want to do. Oh, I, I assume we got miles for that. Indeed. All right, now let's learn that archway and make that. And then I guess talk to Zipper again. Hopefully we'll be done after that. I don't know. Oh, I was also wanting to buy that custom design thing. I forgot. Okay, good. We can make it. We don't have to worry about that. Now, I don't think I picked this up already. I might have actually. I did not. Okay, I really want to see how that works, so. But I kind of wanted to mess with that on camera because I feel bad I did so much off camera. Sorry about that. Because I, I know with the other paths, it kind of overlays the grass on top of it a little bit, which I do like. Look at our new flag. Oh, I kind of want to go look at it at the airport as well. I didn't even register that it was also at the airport. Like it makes complete sense. I just never really paid a whole lot of attention. Probably because it's all the way over here. It's so cute. I like it a lot. But okay, let's talk to creepy rabbit man again. What now? Did I hear you correctly? You crafted all the recipes I hit around the island? My oh my! I knew you'd try, but you really finished the task, which leaves me nothing left to ask. Oh. Except this one other thing! No! Release me, foul demon rabbit! I do not want to make anything else for you! Did you really think it'd be that easy? Ugh, kids today have it so good. You have been ruining everything on this island. I can't fish. I didn't even want to participate in the tourney because of what you put people through. Getting the cherry blossom recipes? A nightmare. Trying to get resources? Unthinkable. I hate this. I, I hate this rabbit. That's right. I need you to do one more thing before I give you your reward. Take this recipe and I'll explain. Mm. <laughs> this final challenge fills me with glee. You gotta clap a toy that looks like me. Great. I'm gonna put it in like a hell pit or something. <laughs> Yes siree, it's a wobbling zipper toy. Craft this recipe and a super de duper prize is yours. Bunny's honor. Fine, I should hopefully have enough eggs still. We will make it. Unless if I need to extract the blood from a rabbit or something. I don't know. I'm gonna assume we're good. Oh God, that's terrible. I hate it. We have plenty. I was holding on to the eggs because I knew there was going to be more we have to craft, so I hope we're all done for now, please. Ugh. That look on your face says it all. Did you really complete my task, both big and small? You crafted the wobbling zipper toy, too? Yippee-yahoo! I knew I could count on you. And I promise I didn't forget my promise. Congrats, here's your super spectacular prize. I do not want it. It's a bunny day wand? What do you mean, just another recipe? Sheesh, looking for a little gratitude here. He knows. I refuse. <laughs> After all this excellent crafting, I think one more bunny day cheer is in order. Are you ready? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> they talk so much in this game. You're the winner. Yes, you are. Congratulations. You're a star. Thanks. Hippity hop. The fun doesn't have to stop. The bunny day festivities will continue all day today. So go have a hopping good time. <laughs> and thanks for jumping in on my fun bunny day festivities. You've made me the hippity happiest bunny of all. Just, just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, mm. great. Thanks, I hate it. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like. I'm kind of thinking about putting a wand shop in our uh, little plaza. I think that would be cute. It's just an egg on a stick, I love it. <laughs> Please tell me that's a regular balloon. I just want regular balloons back. It, it's an egg balloon, of course it is. Well, let's go back up near my house and mess with the pads a little bit more. I wanna see what it's like whenever you set down the custom ones. This is what it looks like when you just set them down. I'm not sure if it's going to be any different whenever you set them down this way. I don't even know how you select what path you want. I, I just don't know. I'm very interested to see. Okay, so here we have the custom design. We would like this one. Okay, I guess that's it. Does it add it to the screen afterwards? No, you always have to go through that. Okay, so let's plop that down. Oh uh, yeah, it looks just the same to me. It doesn't look like the grass is covering it at all. 
Because, like, notice how, like, these little blocks are smaller, like the little stone ones. I wasn't sure if it would be the same with these, but it looks like it's just the same, so... Let's just plop a bunch of sparkles all over the place, you know? Why not? I wonder, can you place these over this as well? You can. That's good, because I knew you could the other way. I actually don't want that there, though. But we might actually put some down in the town square. Oh, but yeah, look at that. That's so pretty. I love that. We really could just, like, put that over our pads, too. I don't know if I want that design, though. I was also looking for some stuff we could scan in or look up now that um, I have online. Oh, look at the little moon pond on our map. I love it. I know you can scan in designs from New Leaf uh, using the Nintendo Online app. The thing is, like, I have them saved on my phone. So I'd have to bring them up on my computer to actually scan them, so. What I might do instead is see what I have saved on Twitter. I think I have a few things, maybe? Oh, um, you're probably not gonna be able to see it very well, but that was the moon design that I found on Twitter. It was originally posted by at slushyx on Twitter. I've also just been finding so much just good inspiration on here, like, ugh. There's so many good items in this game that I have not found yet and I'm sad about it. Ah, uh, okay, here we have one that I was kind of looking at. It's this little star brick made by at the cube cubliest. I, I don't know. So we might try to scan that one in maybe? I don't know where we're gonna put that though, but I'll probably find a spot. I just kind of want to see what this is like, to be honest. World of Creativity awaits via the Custom Designs Portal. Here you can download custom designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. Customers with internet access and a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership can use it. Would you like to ask access this kiosk now? Sure. Oh, I could put some of my designs on there if you guys want me to. I don't think I've made anything super impressive, but you know, for anyone else trying to go with a magical theme. Now let's just look up this whole creator, see what else they have. I assume that's how it works. I think that's right. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, I like the little flower ones too. I kind of like the ones we have more, so I think we're just gonna grab the star brick. This is so cool. I love this. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and put some of my things on here, I guess. Just in case you guys do want any of it. Please do not post designs that contain illegal content. Oh god, what? <laughs> okay, there's my creator ID. I am going to go ahead and save that just in case, but... There it is for you all that would like it. Oh, I can also check it on the passport app thing, but that's fine. <laughs> but just in case. Um, I guess I'll be posting all of my stalls. I don't know if you guys want the sparkles. They're really not that impressive. I'll post the boo and then maybe like that one's really not impressive either. Maybe this one. And then I'll post these as well. Let's go ahead and just put the rope of stars on there. All right, there we have it. I'm not going to share that yet. Um, I'm already kind of sharing it with you guys. I will be putting more on there in a little bit. It's like really hot in the office whenever I have to record and it's hot outside because I have to turn all the air off. So I'm gonna try to keep this one fairly short. So I will be doing that in my free time whenever I have air conditioning. <laughs> Ooh, this person has like a little clover path variant. Ooh. And then there's like these wooden paths too. I might, I might download these later. Oh, and there's also these vines. Okay, yeah, I'll probably be getting a lot of these later once I figure out where I wanna put them all. I just kinda wanted you guys to be able to see what it's like, but if you're interested in the designs that I've been saving, if I don't retweet them, they're probably my likes. And I do like a lot of stuff, so I do apologize if you try to scroll through there. But yeah, that's where they'll be. I think I'm done for now. Oh, I forgot to talk to Sable. I have been talking to her every day, so. Oh, hello, Adamo. You seem pretty chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea. I'm sorry. If we just had one more pair of claws around here to help out, I might be able to chat more. Oh. Oh, not this again. Come on, Sable. You gotta stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister Label went into the world to pursue her dream of being a big-time designer. And we promised her we'd work like hedgehogs to take care of the shop while she's gone. Remember, sis? How can I forget when I've got you? But you're right, Mabes. I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, Adamo, I can't offer a sparkling conversation, but I hope you'll keep stopping by anyway. Oh, so nice. But yeah, let's go ahead and plop that one on. I don't know where I want to put it. <laughs> this is too much responsibility for me. I could always plop it down on top of the path as well. We'll just... Beautiful. <laughs> I'll probably actually put that in the park somewhere. I'm glad they made it easier to place these down. Like, it's so nice. We'll just, like, plop one there. Why not, you know? That's pretty cute. 
I think it's a little bit like warmer tone than the rest of my stone around here, which is a little unfortunate, but I'm gonna be keeping on a lookout for more designs I wanna use around the town. So if you find any that you think would work, I would be most appreciative if you'd like send them to me on Twitter as well, so. Oh, I got a purple tulip. I forgot to show you guys. I'm excited about it. I think the last thing we are going to do today is finally convince Rosie to move in. So I need to go do the whole like Joy-Con switcheroo thing. So I'll be back in a moment. There she is. I can't wait to make her dress all like witchy like. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> you better actually do it this time, Rosie. She's probably still gonna make me craft something, but that's fine. Okay. Hopefully this should be the last time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make you some boxes. I'll be right back. Oh, actually, I, I didn't know the recipe. I think I knew the regular one and then like a medium one. You're lucky I like you so much, Rosie. <sighs> Hopefully I have the materials in my inventory. I might not, I don't, I don't really know. But the crafting bench is still over here. I really should put this by the campsite, but I use it over here a lot too. I fish quite a lot at night. Oh. I see, we need two regular cardboard boxes, right. Okay, where are those at? Really wish there was a search option. Wait. I thought I could craft them, oh no. I could have sworn I could, oh no! I know you find them in the, um, like the little lost and found things sometimes, but I haven't been saving them, why would I? I didn't know. Let me go check the lost and found. Let's hope there's two of them. That's rude, giving us something we can't even like actually make. No, I don't want the nuggets. Mm. Can I get them anywhere else? Do they sell them at Nooks? I'm gonna look it up real quick. I assume it would be in here if they did. Please, please, please. I don't know if they do. Maybe it's just something they sell sometimes, like all their other stuff. The nerve. Ah, apparently the cardboard boxes appear after someone moves in. Literally, it says, individuals looking to get their hands on this item can buy one from the characters of Timmy and Tommy for a total of 100 bells. Binge where? I wanna know. Timmy, Tommy, you see those two boxes up there? Sell me those! That's what I need right now. Ah! Yeah, I think the only way I can do this is if I, uh, get them from another person. So I don't think we're actually gonna be able to get Rosie today, and I'm... <laughs> so I guess that is unfortunately where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I was really hoping we'd be able to get her today, but at least we got everything else done, right? Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.